Hi everyone, my name is Janice and I'm here to show you the new Kit 62 Wildflowers and Florals. Um, you'll receive it in a box like this. I already have everything out, but you can see exciting box. <laughs> And let's go ahead and show you the papers that you'll be receiving. It'll be inside this folder, and these are all the colors you'll get. You'll get two of each. You'll also get um, some blank uh, ivory cards. They're five by seven. And in this, we'll have the dies. So let's show you a better view. I'll put it this purple behind it. This is the main piece and you can see this part right here and then the frame come off. And on the other side we'll have this. Please excuse the papers. I was too lazy to punch them all out. <laughs> and you'll see some single flowers right here and then you can add Add little like tags and whatnot onto it. Um, the last one is gonna be sentiment dies. These are really cute. So they go um, inside here and you can swap them out. So it says, if blank were flowers, I'd pick you. And you could put um, mothers, friends, or sisters. And you'll also receive a stamp set. It'll be this one. And it has a lot of sayings. It'll say, sending butterfly kisses, um, sending love and kisses, you are in my thoughts, birthday wishes, thanks for being you on this special day. And then right in the bottom right, it's going to say, best friend, just for you, I miss you, and thank you. And it has a cute little heart right there. <laughs> and now for the products that you receive. So... Um, I'm going to show you these two together because they'll work together. You'll get an empty um, light mist spray bottle and then you'll get the Falling Leaves Shimmer Powder. Um, this actually like changes color with water so I'll show you that in my video. And you'll also get the um, Buttermilk Crystal Drops, the Lilac Lavender Embellishment Mousse and you can see that it has that shine to it. And then this purple ribbon, I cannot pronounce the word, but <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> and let me go ahead and show you the ones that I actually um, already have prepared. This was one style, and I just used those single flowers and just kind of stacked them up to make them look like, like a flower, like a perennial or lilac lavender. I'm not sure which one it really looks like, but this one <laughs> and then with this one um I will show you the technique I used um, to do these pieces right here I guess just like the background and then um we'll show the shimmer powder and then if I have time for anything else I'll try to include it inside the video all right let's go ahead and get started well, go ahead and get your die set for the wildflowers. I'm gonna use this paper and um, we're gonna do this first. Just how I was able to do um, the flowers on the top and then the, I guess the little designs on top of the background. So what I did on the paper when I have it in the die cut machine I just turned all of this around and I used the part with the big flower in the corner and about to where this piece goes you can um, save paper by just running this part through the dye machine to be cut um, that way you don't you don't waste any um, extra paper and we'll do this two times and I'll come back when I when I have it ready. All right, so after you have those two pieces, uh, make sure you have all the pieces popped out. What we're gonna do next is just um, fussy cut around just the edges, the top right here, 
And then I'll actually um, do like a little speed through of this part so you can see um, what petals and whatnot that I actually left and kept on. This is what you should have. Um, the next thing is we're just going to set this aside. I'm going to use the back of the card I made and then I'm going to show you um, how I got this piece inside. All I did was just line it up on the card. Oops, wrong way. This way. Oh forgot to put my phone on silent sorry guys and then what you're gonna do is measure out you can do this on the back actually so you don't mess up the thing and it doesn't have to be perfect I'm just gonna do enough to be in there so right there and then let's say this one will be about right here so this is how much that we will need to cut you can do one or two things you can cut it with the die cut machine or you can use a um or you can use one of these um i'm gonna use this but if you wanted to use the die cutting machine you can what you would do is just um flip it around to where the mark is and then you would just use this piece right there. That's what I did with the other one. But... I actually have it marked on this side with just a little small indention. And we can double check to see how wide we want it to be on the paper. Um, you can have it go past the flower or you can have it exactly at the flower. It's totally up to you. Since this is about five by seven, I'm going to have it go past the flower some and then just mark it with my finger now. And now for the middle part, this part, let me show you how I did that as well. You're going to need two pieces. Set this aside. These are the two pieces that you're going to need. This can be this one to cut it around the edges and this one to give the design. I'm going to use this color. And then what you're going to do is about the halfway mark you're gonna cut it out like this and then you're gonna line match it I guess you can say um, and then just swap it around and then do the same thing and you'll you'll probably see like a small thin line that's totally fine that just keeps them connected so we can cut it out long ways and I will be right back to do that all right so this is piece I have cut out and um, what we're going to do we're going to get out the middle piece that we plan on putting this over and it'll show us about where we're going to be cutting it off um, what I actually did was went ahead and glued it on and then cut around it but you can also um, do it the other way I'm just going to I'm just going to show you the way I did it and just glue it right on
All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be cleaning up some of this glue and then right afterwards we will begin cutting. And then what we're gonna do is um, you could grab a blank card or uh, you can just put it on the paper and then cut it out to size. Um, and then we're gonna attach it like this with the glue. <laughs> All right, and I'll come back when I have it glued on. All right, and this is what you should be left with and then from here you can go ahead and add um, some sentiments different different decorations on there you can even add ribbon um, what I'm gonna do though I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, the shimmer powder I just wanted to show you the difference of what it looked like on different papers I'm just gonna put this underneath because you're not limited to just the the one like lightest paper you can actually use it on the darker paper it does give it a different color I'm just using um, some scrap paper that I have just so you can get an idea of what it'll look like go ahead and fill up your water bottle with some or fill up your uh, spray bottle with some water and I'm going to show you two different techniques one is dry and one is um, wet and I'll explain what that means what we're gonna do is just make this top half wet oops gotta unlock it first oh my gosh <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> whoa we're, we're gonna make this kind of so there and then we're going to lightly tap the bottom side and if you need a little bit more it looks like this one needs a little bit so that's one way when it's already wet and then you add the powder and then you can add some more we'll let that dry and then from right here we're going to do the dry section we're not gonna put any water down first. We're just gonna put the powder. And then you lightly spray to whatever desired design. I'm going to put a little spray up here because there's a big glob of green. <laughs> Alright, and we're going to let these dry and I'll show you what they look like when it's dry. So this is with it dry. This one we did the wet technique. We lay down water first, then um, tap the shimmer powder on top and then just add water if you need to. And then at the bottom was the dry technique. We went ahead and put the powder everywhere and then we sprayed it. Um, my personal preference is actually the dry technique because I feel like I have more control of the powder and you can kind of see the spread. Um, with this one, sometimes I'll oversaturate it like with too much water and it starts mixing. Um, but that's just me. I'm probably just not doing it correctly. <laughs> so that's why I like the preference of the bottom, but I really love how this turned out on the pearlescent paper. It like created a whole new, whole new paper, but these are just some ideas you can use with the shimmer powder. Let me put these off to the side. I did want to show you, um, some things that you can do with the embellishment mousse. 
I'm just going to take uh, some of these scrap paper that I already have and um, just show you a few different things. So we can get a spatula. So you can get a spatula or something just to get a little bit of the mousse out and I'll show you this is probably my favorite technique You can use the designs of the stencils that you um, cut out to make little raised embellishments. I really like that um, it shimmers it's like a really pretty color. Oops. And then another thing. I think I discovered this one by accident. I um, wet my sponge to get the excess off of this. And then, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like its own ink. Let me try it straight from here. And with more pressure, much smoother. I thought that was really pretty and of course there's the you can use your finger too to spread this on here I think um, I tried doing that in the beginning and I didn't like how it turned out because uh, of what I was using with it but it would work if you wanted to do like a little bit of color in between or if you wanted to just highlight a few it's just a lot of fun. There's probably a dozen more ways to use this, but I just wanted to be able to show you that um, you can get pretty creative with the with the mousse itself. That's all the tips I have for you today. Um, hopefully it helps you. I think this is a wonderful craft kit and I really love the colors that they actually put together. Um, I'm going to go eat this right here <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Happy crafting. Bye.